Hi, this is Lona from GreenWriters.com, a website dedicated to offering guidance and tips for people who are interested in publishing in peer-reviewed journals. This video will focus on the peer review process and help you be familiar with each step of the process. Peer review is a process by which journals assess the quality of the study by inviting the expert in the field to review the manuscript and help determine whether it's suitable for the publication or not. The process usually involves the following steps. Step 1. Editor screening. The authors submit the manuscript to a journal, usually through an online submission system, and the journal editor receives it. The manuscript will first go through an initial screening by the editor. At this first stage, the journal editor will decide if it's suitable for the journal and whether there are any fundamental flaws. If the editor thinks there are serious problems in the manuscript or it is irrelevant to the scope and goal of the journal, the manuscript will be rejected without external review and the authors will be notified. If the manuscript passes the editor's initial screening, it is sent out for review to external reviewers. Step 2. Peer Review Now the paper has passed the editor's screening. It will be forwarded to the reviewers. Usually two to four reviewers are invited to evaluate the work, but the number of reviewers may vary depending on the field of the study. The reviewers should be experts in the relevant field. Each reviewer will review and comment on the manuscript. The journal may have their specific review guideline, but the reviewers will look at the significance of the study, the study design, results presentation, the clarity of language, etc. The reviewers will also make a recommendation to the journal editor concerning publication. Based on the reviewer's feedback and recommendations, the editor will make informed decision on whether the paper will be accepted, rejected, or invited to revise and resubmit. The editor will send out the decision letter to the authors. It is extremely rare for a paper to be accepted as it is. If the authors are asked to revise and resubmit the paper, they move on to the third step of the process. Step 3. Revising and Resubmitting The editors believe that the article contains important information, but some issues and concerns need to be addressed. The authors will be asked to make a revision to the article and resubmit it to the journal within a certain time frame. The authors need to carefully read and consider reviewers' comments. The revision should be based on those comments. The authors also need to make a point-by-point -point response to each comment, indicating how the change has been made. If certain revision cannot be made, they need to provide sufficient explanations politely. The authors need to follow the editor's instruction on how to show revision by highlighting the changes or use of Microsoft Word track change or other ways. After the revision, the authors resubmit the revised paper to the journal. The revision will go through review by the editor only, or by both the editor and the reviewers, for the second round. Then the authors usually can get final decision, either the paper is accepted or unfortunately rejected. Normally, if the editor or reviewers believe the revision has adequately addressed their previous concerns and the paper has improved after the revision, the paper will move on to the last step. Step 4. Acceptance When the paper is accepted, the authors get an acceptance letter. The authors may be requested to complete certain documents, such as a requirement for publication. The manuscript will be copy-edited and then put into production. While the authors are waiting for it to be published in the journal, they can list it as impress or forthcoming. Authors can track the status of a manuscript in the submission system during the peer review process. Peer review works as quality control for scholarly journals to ensure that the published study is rigorous and adding value to the existing knowledge. 
Hope through this video you will have a better understanding of the basic peer review process that scholarly journals use for their submission review and decision making. For more information on publishing in peer reviewed journals, please subscribe my YouTube channel and visit my website at greenwriters.com. Thank you for watching.